Hey, what's up everyone? How are you doing? So, in this video, I'm gonna do a voiceover through a surf competition heat. Now, it's been about two years since I've done a surf competition. I kinda took a break, because I felt uh, I was kinda getting burnt out of them. They weren't, I wasn't having that much fun at the time doing surf competitions, and I felt like it was taking the fun out of surfing, so I took a little break for a few years. But, there is a local surf competition going on, so I'm gonna, participate in it in the juniors and open and talk you through the heat. Now I'm just gonna show an edited version of the heat on my channel but a full entire um, video of the entire heat will be over on our other YouTube channel I Surf Tribe which is more surf a surf, more surf focused channel. A link to that video will of course be in the description. But yeah let's go. The heat is tomorrow so see you then. <laughs> And here we go. So in the past, the kind of the mentality that I've always had when going into the surf competitions is I've been always really just fixated on the res on the result of how I did, how I surfed. So when I would do a competition, if I would make it past the heat or make it to the final, then I'd be like super happy, of course. But then any time that I didn't do good or like didn't surf that good or didn't catch the waves that I wanted to then I'd be like super bummed and like demotivated just because I didn't get the result that I wanted to which is kind of silly when you think about it so the plan with this competition was to have a different mentality and that was to not be too concerned about the result I was just gonna compete in the competition just to be a part of it just for fun it's like a, a an event where bunch of people, surfers, people from the area are hanging out at. The plan was to just, the main reason I'm there is to hang out, talk with the other people there, and then just do the competition for fun. And doing it this way maybe was a good thing because I actually ended up doing better in the competition than I have sometimes before. I actually made it past my first junior heat which is the category of 18 and, and under and younger. So with that turn, which you just saw a second ago, and that wave, I actually made it to the semifinals. So then I got to surf the second day of the competition because it's a two day event. So then after the first day I surfed and then the rest of the day, I just kind of hung out chatting with the other competitors, even people that are like in the same category as me, instead of being all like, just this is all competition, just like gotta be super, um, serious and just focus on the competition like was trying to not have be too concerned about that and then I actually did the semi-final heat the next day and I was able to pass the semi-final heat with that wave this wave where I did like a nice snap and then a, um, a lifted re-entry and I was able to actually make it into the final of the junior and I this is the first time I'd ever made it to the final of the 18 and under category given I haven't done a competition for like the past two years, so I wasn't really doing this category back then. But then I, like recently, maybe somewhat recently, I learned how to do a 360, so that was a maneuver that I had, that I really wanted to do in the competition. And I actually did go for it a few times, but not land it, but then I, I did land it, managed to land it one time so I was like that was one of the things I was pretty happy about that I was able to land a 360 even though that's not like a super high score maneuver in a competition just I was happy I landed it and then this was actually the last wave of the final and with that maneuver right there that decided was well, it was probably the best turn that I did of the competition but if you want to see it you'll have to go check that out over on iSurf Tribe.